Hey guys, this is Champ Creed for Fox Sports Radio, 96.9 FM, Fox Sports Radio, 1340 AM. And this is the uh, segment called Sports Solutions by Champ Creed. Summertime, I'll be switching off to my Brotivation coverage uh, in a couple of weeks. But first, we have to talk about the big news. Mayweather McGregor, it is on August 26th at the T-Mobile Arena. Right now, if you are going to bet, the lines actually opened up at plus 700 for Conor McGregor, and now they've already moved down to plus 600. Just to give you an idea, if you're betting, if you put 100 down, you'll get plus 600, whatever it says for McGregor. If you're betting on Floyd, I think Floyd is minus 1100, which means you'd have to bet $1,100 to get $100. That were that was the line last I checked. From a betting standpoint, you're not going to win too much unless it's um, a knockout by Conor McGregor to which you can bet on the round that you think the fight is going to end. You could bet on the way in which you feel the fight is going to end. Those are called the prop bets. You can bet either way what round do you think McGregor may uh, get knocked out or knock out Floyd? Which round do you think that Floyd uh, may have a TKO stoppage? So from your standard betting, like straight up what I just mentioned, that's okay, but you're going to make a lot of money with the uh, prop bets. And those will come out probably over the next few days. And if you notice, within the past few years, UFC has allowed the sports books to produce their information in terms of how much money you can win versus how much money you're probably going to lose because not too many people win. Uh, and it's filtered over into boxing now, and you're going to see the betting line props. You're not going to see the props, but you'll see the betting lines over a lot of uh, boxing matches nowadays as well. So with that in mind, uh, Smart Money has always been a segment that I produce as well, and it spans my motivation shows, it spans my Champ Creed Solution shows. So today's solution show is basically ultimate entertainment. The fans want ultimate entertainment. From the NBA Finals, as you probably could see the highlights that were playing from the Champ Charm, uh, people watch the NBA ratings because there was star power. People are going to buy this pay-per-view because there is star power. Now, regardless of the outcome, regardless of the flow of the fight, regardless of how people may think it's going to turn out, you know, they're going to tune in. And if you have your money saved up and you want to make some money betting, I will give you a day-to-day -day analysis on my uh, Instagram page, uh, on my Twitter. Everything is at Champ Creed. Uh, what's going on with the lines? I'll let you know when it shifts because the lines will shift. But as those prop bets come out, I'll roll them out for you. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a gambler's approach to Mayweather McGregor and also give you ideas on different contests that you can win uh, to hopefully win a trip to Las Vegas. Or if you're in Las Vegas, you know, have Champ Creed be a personal guide around fight week to the different activities and entertainment festivities that will be going on in Vegas at the T-Mobile Arena and around town. So keep, keep in mind, this fight, yesterday was the announcement. Once the press conference begins, you're going to have wall-to-wall -wall coverage here on Fox Sports Radio 96.9 FM, wall-to-wall -wall coverage on Fox Sports Radio 1340 AM, and you'll be able to find us uh, on our social media and as well as me on my social media because I will have the inside track on everything that's going down and provide you an inside analysis. Here's the thing. You know, you're going to have people that speculate. A lot of times, you know, the professionals are right, but sometimes they get it wrong. And then you have the insiders who are actually in the game, and there are very few of them. So I'll tag them in my post. We'll exchange our notes. I'll share my fans with them. Uh, my fans will be shared with ever because you want the inside scoop. I know what you want. And for this fight in general, the timeline that people have is Conor McGregor saying on Conan O'Brien in 2015 that he wants to fight. In actuality, the timeline for this fight goes back even further. I don't want to spill all the beans. I don't want to give you everything because now I can actually tell you about how things went down. But I'll figure I'll bring you along because things are going to pop up once the press conferences kick off and Champ Cree is going to be your inside guy to give you all the information. So you got any questions, shoot me a DM, shoot me a tweet, shoot me a, a message on Snap. Everything is at Champ Creed and the Mayweather McGregor kickoff begins.